Today I'm going to talk about Mayan architecture. According to Manuel Gonzalez, author of our textbook, the Maya were an ancient civilization descended from the Olmecs who lived in the eastern Mesoamerica. According to Scherer, modern-day Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, and El Salvador all show archaeological evidence of the existence of the Maya. Further, the Maya lived from as early as 1000 BCE to about 900 CE and built their kingdoms and survived until the arrival of the Spaniards who sought to conquer them. Mark Cartwright explained that limestone, sandstone, and volcanic tuff were some of the available materials used by the Maya to make their structures and were held together by burnt lime cement or mud. Additionally, Cartwright said that the outer walls were covered with stucco, often painted and decorated with ornate carvings and sculptures. Several structures made up each of the Mayan cities. The common structures featured in the cities were palaces, ball courts, temple pyramids, towers, sleeping quarters, cooking areas, and workshops. Maya religion and their study of astronomy were major influencers in the architecture. Cartwright shows how one way religion is shown through the Mayan culture is through their soaring pyramids and ornate palaces, which characterize Maya architecture. Additionally, these pyramids were used not only as temples and focal points for Maya religion practices where offerings were made to the gods, but also as gigantic tombs for the deceased rulers, their partners, sacrificial victims, and precious goods. According to the Wikipedia article about architecture in Mesoamerica, the Maya were good at replicating their beliefs in concrete, tangible form, in effect making the world an embodiment of their beliefs. This can be seen in their use of caves. Caves represented the concepts of emergence and fertility, as seen in Quintana Roo, Mexico, um, which was told by Rosolo et al. Caves were also said to be where the gods lived and were places where religious rituals were performed. Science also impacted Maya architecture. The Maya loved mapping out phases of celestial objects like the Sun, Moon, and Venus, as shown in the article Maya Architecture. Pictured is El Caracol Observatory, found at Chichen Itza, which was used to observe Venus. Towers and observatories were structures found in many Maya ruins, which does not surprise Paul Labasi, who says that since they were devoted to the calendars and astronomical observation, it makes sense that astronomy added to the decision in building their structures. For example, he talks about the tower at Chichen Itza, which has large windows for observation. The structures were also oriented to view events in the skies. Pictured is El Castillo, which is found at Chichen Itza. Archaeologists have found hundreds of sites where the ancient Maya lived, each with religious and astronomical features. Pictured is the archaeological site of the palace at Sebal. Some of the popular sites include Uxmal, Palenque, and Chichen Itza in Mexico, Tikal in Guatemala, and Copan in Honduras. Tikal was a major city between 300 and 850 in the Common Era. In another article by Mark Cartwright, he describes that Tikal includes nine different plazas and courts connected by causeways and ramps and has, in all, 3,000 structures. Pictured is a view over the Grand Plaza and Temple One by Ken Douglas. One structure is the North Acropolis, a giant tomb which was used for the burial of two kings and nine sacrificial victims. Another structure is the Central Acropolis, which houses the Royal Palace, areas for food preparation and ceremonial courtyards for bloodletting and sacrifices. A third structure is at Tikal is the Mundo Perdido, which is an area that contains a huge pyramid with a row of smaller temples. 
The three eastern platforms of the largest temple align with sunrises during the equinoxes. Copan was another major Maya city. The site of ruins shows a lot more damage and wear and tear since it was located on the floodplain in Honduras, and it was used during the 8th century as a farming settlement. This site is also unique due to it having only a few buildings. Pictured is one of the pyramids. Ball courts were another feature of many Maya city sites, and Copan is no exception. Copan also has one cool feature at these ruins, which is the hieroglyphic stairway, which shows the intricate carvings found in Mayan architecture. At Copan, they have a covering to protect the stairway from the elements. In this picture, it is possible to see a closer view of the hieroglyphic staircase. Cartwright describes that one of the pyramids contains two tomb buildings known as Rosalila and Margarita. While majority of the ruins had shown lots of wear, the Rosalila and Margarita tomb was found in incredible condition. Pictured is a replica of the tomb, how it was found, which can be seen at the museum on the site of the ruins. Temple 22 is known for its doorway with a giant serpent mask with fangs on the sill and sides to show the entrance to a sacred cave and is also ornately decorated with maize gods. This is a close-up view of Temple 22 at Copan, which again shows the carvings and sculptures used in Maya architecture. Another Maya city is Chichen Itza, found in the Yucatan Peninsula between 750 and 1200 Common Era. Carpenter describes this site as one with many militant themes of jaguars, eagles, and feathered serpents, and also a site with Toltec influences. One major structure is the Pyramid of Kukulkan, which was used for religious purposes such as human sacrifices and ceremonies. Cartwright describes the use of a total of 365 stairs and shows the Mayan sign for zero from above and shows tri shadow of triangles that form an illusion of a giant serpent climbing the structure during the autumnal equinox. Another structure is the Temple of the Warriors, which is a pyramid featuring ornate art and wall paintings. The ball court in Chichen Itza is the largest in Mesoamerica. The sides are uniquely vertical instead of sloped, with dimensions that seem unrealistic for games. The Zompantel was a large ornately decorated platform that was used for human sacrifices and religious ceremonies. Usmal, located in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, was a major city from the 6th to the 10th centuries of the Common Era. Cartwright explains that the structure here is from the Terminal Classic period and that many structures are in very good condition. The House of the Governors is the only building that isn't oriented northeast, but instead it faces the rise of, the, of Venus. It was the city's main administrative center. Another building, the Pyramid of the Magician, was unique because it had rounded corners which makes it look oval from above and had a staircase with carvings that looks like a serpent. Additionally, in Usmal, the nunnery quadrangle is featured and has an unknown purpose. There are four separate buildings here. Um, here you can find unique architectural features such as vaults, veneer masonry, roof combs, and a high number of doorways. Cartwright explains the significance of the number of doorways on each of the buildings. The north building's doorway represents the 13 levels of the Mayan heavens, while the south building's nine doors imitate the nine levels of the Mayan underworld. Cartwright explains that the west building had seven doors that represent the mystic number of the earth, and finally, the east building may represent the point in the middle world where the sun rises. Another structure is the House of the Pigeons. 
Unlike most of the buildings, this appears to be much older than other buildings. The final location I will discuss is Palenque in the Chiapas Altiplano of Mexico, which flourished from 650 to 750 Common Era. This city was densely populated and the architecture was unique because of the terrain. One of the innovative techniques of architecture found here was the corbelled roofs, which were used for the first time and improved the overall stability of the structure. One of the buildings on this site is the Palenque Palace, which was the center of the city and it was uniquely used as a royal residence instead of as a temple. And this one also had quarters for servants and lavatories. The Temple of Inscriptions is another building in Palenque with nine levels representing the Maya underworld, which was used for human sacrifices and burial for an important Maya ruler. The inscriptions mentioned in the name are found in the tomb describing the reign of Pakal, a ruler. Numbers play an important role here, as well as the number 13, which refers to the levels of heaven. Finally, the group of the cross, which includes the Temple of the Sun and depicts large amounts of symbolism, was used for religious and ceremonial purposes.